In November 2010, a terrible disaster happened. At the 10th floor of this apartment building, a fire started and spread out in no time throughout the whole building. Although the firefighters were able to rescue more than 100 people, the fire still took 58 lives. Many of them simply died because the firefighters weren't able to find them fast enough in this huge building. But now imagine that the firefighters could have used small flying robots. These could maneuver very fast through the building and find people much faster than the firefighters themselves. I believe that this kind of robots could, could have saved many lives that day and, of course, in many other situations too. And thanks to recent developments in technology and uh, going miniaturization of electronics, uh, this dream of nano air vehicles becomes more and more realistic. And that's why several research teams in the world, like ours at the University of Leuven, are starting to develop them. Flying robots made for indoor use have to meet three criteria. Of course, they have to be small, able to quickly perform complex flight maneuvers, and carry as much weight as possible so they can, they, so they can carry uh, a long-lasting energy source and, a, and sensors like a camera. These criteria are exactly the ones met by small biological flyers like insects and hummingbirds. Thanks to their small flapping wings, they can perform amazing flight maneuvers. They can fly fast from flower to flower or hover in one place while drinking nectar. And if necessary, they can even fly sideways and backwards to avoid violent predators. Furthermore, they are taking advantage of some very peculiar aerodynamic phenomena that only occur around small flapping wings. Thanks to these aerodynamic phenomena, insects and hummingbirds are able to carry a surprisingly large amount of weight for their relatively small wings. Motivated by these advantages of flapping wing propulsion, we are developing the Culibri, a nano-air vehicle that flies by flapping its wings exactly as the Rufus Hummingbird does. Now, the first problem we faced while developing the Culibri was generating the complex wing motion of the Rufus Hummingbird. Maybe you know, maybe not, but hummingbirds and insects all share a common way of flapping their wings. For example, this movie, shows the wing motion of a Rufus hummingbird. And as you can see, small biological flyers don't flap their wings in a vertical plane, but rather in a horizontal one. In general, more weight can be lifted if the flapping frequency and the stroke amplitude are increased. Another important aspect of this wing motion is the so-called wing rotation. At the end of each wing stroke, which is here and here, the wing rotates around its length axis. Doing so, the wing faces the air at the optimal angle in all instances. Furthermore, rapidly rotating just before stroke reversal generates extra lift force. The problem is to make this, uh, to make this motion mechanically. So I'm proud to show you the lightweight mechanism, we, the lightweight flapping mechanism we developed for the Colibri. It mimics the wing motion of the Rufus Hummingbird at exactly the same speed of 40 flap cycles per second. Thanks to this flapping mechanism, the Colibri is able to lift 50% more weight than any other flapping wing nano-air vehicle of comparable size, and even more than the Rufus Hummingbird itself, because it has a larger stroke amplitude. Uh, during the last minutes of my presentation, I'd like to show you the current status of our research. Uh, at this moment, the Colibri is the smallest radio-controlled flapping wing no air vehicle that's able to lift its own weight. And as you will see, and as you see, the Colibri still needs two cables to guide them during flight, because at this moment, the Colibri is not yet able to, uh, uh, to keep his balance during flight or perform any flight maneuvers. And that's because uh, with flapping wings, flight maneuvers are performed by a so-called asymmetric wing motion, in which the left wing flaps a little bit differently than the right wing. This is something we are currently working on, and we hope to have implemented this in the Culibri within uh, six months from now. So I will show you the demo, and then I'll give uh, my final words. And I will do it uh, together. 
So in the movie, you will be able to see the wings actually moving, uh, which you won't see here. Okay, I think he's ready. So for now, the flight endurance is not that long yet, but that will change in the future. <laughs> so much work still has to be done before the Calibri will be able to fly around freely with his biological friends. But with the progress we are making, we believe that in two to four years from now, the Calibri could become one of the first flapping wing nano air vehicles that could be actually used by firefighters all around the world to help them in saving lives. Thank you very much.